and welcome to episode one of War Games Geek. Today I'm painting some 28mm Norman infantry from the Renedra range and as you can see on this sprue there are five figures. Three of them are wearing linen or cotton tunics. One is wearing some chainmail over the top of his tunic and the final chap is wearing a sort of padded vest. So here they are all assembled ready for painting and today I'm picking on this chap here He's going to get a coat of paint and let's see how we get on. The first stage is to give him some undercoat. So he's now been undercoated with matte white from the Army Painter range and we're going to go straight in with some Barbarian Flesh. And we're going to do the face and both hands. And they're the only bits of skin that need to be done so I'll take a bit of time to uh, paint those in. Just try and take a bit of care, try not to get stuff on the tunic if you can help it. But uh, if you do, no bother because you can go back over it afterwards. So just concentrate on getting around into the eyes, into the eye sockets, around the face and then into the nose area there. So the face is pretty much done there, that's the first good coat. And then we need to do the hands which I've now just sped through that and done a basic coat on the hands as you can see. The next stage then I'm going to go over the tunic in mummy robes which again is in the army painter range and I'm going to do all of his tunic, the uh, neck covering and the uh, sort of outer layer of his clothing. So again take your time if you've gone over the edges with the uh, with the skin colour, the flesh colour you know, now's the time to just paint that back in again in the in the mummy robes colour. As you see, it's not quite brilliant white. I'm going to now go round the boss of the shield, and I'm using plate male metal in the army painter range for that. So it's the boss. Leave the back of the shield white for the time being. So we're going to paint in his. Uh, helmet here and just again take your time try and take your time you notice I'm changing brushes a few times so I've got uh, a fine detail brush uh, for this particular area could have probably gone for something a bit bigger but uh, just make sure you cover the whole area and then the next bit to do is the axe so all of those three parts I've done so using plate mail metal so just try and uh, give you a clearer view of what he's looking like there. So we need to let that dry and then once it is we're going to come in and I'm using desert yellow for the under tunic. Uh, I'm not too sure what that's actually called. Um, so it's a, a sort of a dirty yellow colour. So I use that for the sleeves, the uh, top of the trousers um, and those are the only bits that really show through uh, on that so just try and again take your time and if you need to turn him upside down like this to, to get into the sort of deeper areas then by all means do that um, make it easier for yourself so I've done one sleeve I'm doing the other there's a little bit of touching up to do I can see I've missed a little bit there I'll go back over that in due course and just make sure you get the uh, desert yellow on, on those areas. I'd say on the under tunic. So any uh, tips or advice on which camera to use? I'm currently using my iPhone, uh, which isn't ideal, but it's doing a job. You can see, uh, see what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, but uh, yeah, any ideas on upgrades for cameras would be great so there we are so we're just a basic sort of one coat we're not doing any uh, shading or anything at this stage we're just getting the, the top layers on and now I've gone to leather brown in the army painter range and we're doing the sort of strap it's all the, the leather strapping around the, the legs and the, and the shoes themselves uh, this paint needs a bit of a shake up so um, a bit of poor editing there but I've had to shake it up just to try and 
uh, mix the paint in with the oil. Uh, so yeah, paint the bottoms of the feet, paint all of that uh, in the leather brown colour. <clears throat> I'm now using uh, Monster Brown, and that's for the handle of the axe, and um, we'll get a good coating on, on that. And I uh, hope you can see that clearly. And then I'm using Oak Brown for the back of the shield. Now, the this figure didn't come with a shield um, to, to glue on like this. That's just something out of a bits box that I had laying around. So I thought, well, he'll have his axe slung over his back. And now I'm using Fur Brown to do the um, scabbard for his, for his sword. <clears throat> so a very basic first layer of paint. As I say, you can see there I've missed some bits. I'll just go over it again and again, just to make sure you've not missed anything. And then I'm going in now with flesh wash into the face, and I'll also use that on the back of the hands. But try and be as careful as you can. Uh, so yeah, back of the hands with the flesh wash, and that sinks in and, and gives a bit of depth to the face and hands. <clears throat> The next stage after that is all done and make sure it left to dry properly. The next stage is to uh, using the army shade, army painter range is I've gone over this uh, in a dark tone and I'll show you the finished voila. So he's had a coating of dark shade and we just need to leave that now to dry properly. And then we can pick out some highlights uh, and some um, bits for the shield and to base this figure. It's really quick, it's really simple and it just gets these figures onto your table without taking too much time up. I think that took me altogether about 25 minutes to paint him. So I've added some highlights now to this sort of extreme edges of the tunic and to the um, underclothing. And he's now ready to be based. There's nothing much more to do with him. Uh, and he's done to a tabletop standard, ready for gaming. Our Norman is all ready now for gaming. So please do like, subscribe and follow for more content. Thank you.